Let's talk for a moment here about the Electoral College, because what's happening here, we've seen throughout social media the last few days, a lot of pushback against the Electoral College. People very angry that we have this instead of a direct democracy. And then the next step, openly calling for the people who are electors from the various states to say that they're not going to vote for Trump. And we saw the same thing as the uh, leaders of the GOP were calling for the delegates from the states to not vote for Donald Trump at the GOP convention, openly calling for that, the leadership. And let me just say, right up front, it isn't going to work. It didn't work in the primary. It didn't work for the nomination of Donald Trump as president to call for faithless electors. And it isn't going to work uh, for an even better reason at the national level. But let's talk about why the Electoral College is a good idea. First of all, as we've all seen the map, uh, the, this meme that's going around social media, and we've seen this for the last several elections, if you paint the different counties, you look at a county-by-county county map of the United States, red for Republicans, blue for Democrats, and you see that virtually all of America is red from a geographical standpoint. There's only the high concentration of populations in the Northeast and on the West Coast that turn blue for the most part, and then just a few blue spots in the in everywhere else, and, and of course, uh, Illinois as well. But other than that, the vast majority of America is red, geographically speaking. And uh, as the meme that's going around says, uh, look at this, uh, Donald Trump has got better coverage than Verizon. Can you hear us now? <laughs> and see, that's an important reason why we have the Electoral College, is because if you don't have something like that, then you're essentially shutting down the separation of powers that was by design. See, we were never intended to have a pyramid structure of centralized, concentrated power. The thing that the founders of this country feared the most, and the reason they had these long debates before they, there's the map right there. <laughs> the internet wants you to know Trump has better coverage than Verizon. I, I think that's true, but they're going to question that. They're going to do a, a fact check on that to see if he does, so we'll see. But anyway, bottom line is, when you go back to the original debates over the Constitution, the Federalists versus the Anti-Federalists, what they were concerned about, the Anti-Federalists, was that it would all just consolidate over a period of time to Washington. When we look at this Electoral College thing, get the big picture first of all. Understand that the founders did not want a pyramid of power with the federal government at the top. That was the thing that they were most concerned not happen. Yet that is what has happened. And it has happened increasingly as we eviscerate the power of the states. Understand that it was 13 sovereign states that created the central government uh, that we now call the federal government. They did it mainly for the process of purpose of self-defense. And understand that just as we've had all these other sovereign states uh, create the United Nations, and I think that was a big mistake as well, that this whole thing could go down, that the United Nations could go down the same road. I've talked in the past about what I've seen in North Carolina, the county that I lived at, where they used to have jurisdictional boundaries, and in each one of these subsections of the county, you would elect an individual person. And so these areas, even the ones that didn't have a massive concentration of population, would still have a say in their government. And what the liberals did is they moved in from a university town in one corner of that county. They first changed the law to make all the electors in the county at large. Then they dominated everything. Think in the other direction. What if we were to have the United Nations, instead of each country having one vote, which is essentially what the Electoral College was set up to be, if instead of having each country have one vote, let's say that we did it as a direct democracy, China and India would run everything. Now, would you trust China to accurately report their vote totals if it was simply a pure population instance? Do you support them to run honest elections? No. Talk show host is Alex Jones. He's a, he's a conspiracy theorist. Radio talk show host Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. Radio talk show host and conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. Deeply, I think, racist. I just got called racist by MSNBC. I don't want that man to have a gun. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Alex Jones Show. Watch the free stream live at Infowars.com forward slash show. show.